My name is Delicia Gunn. I'm a mechanical engineer, and I'm president of Indigo Engineering Group in Washington, D.C. I love math and science growing up, and I love to take things apart and put them back together. And so my mom um, told me basically I'd make a great engineer, and so my interest began to grow from there. The high school that I went to, um, actually middle school, 6th through 12th grade, it's a college preparatory school and it was heavily focused on math and, and science so I took a lot of physics, took a lot of chemistry, um, algebra and calculus while I was still in, um, in grade school. Also during high school I attended Engineering Summer Institute where we were introduced to the different engineering disciplines. So I learned about mechanical, chemical, um, civil, just the entire scope of uh, engineering disciplines and that gave me a strong base you know being able to work with the different equipment and um, conducting experiments. I learned a lot about engineering and decided from there that mechanical was the route that I wanted to go. Mechanical engineering, I believe, is the broadest field of all of the engineering disciplines. You could do anything from making pampers to making cars. In the early stages of my career, I found um, my greatest challenges to be the fact that I'm an African-American woman um, well, African American, one is a challenge, and two, being a woman, and three, um, being a young woman. The engineering field itself is dominated by older um, white men, and so when you come in as a young African American woman, um, you have to be 10, 20, 30 times you know, better than the average engineer so that they'll at least give you some sort of respect. That was my initial challenge is entering, um, entering the career. As I've grown within Indigo and having my own business, those challenges have become my assets because the, um, the industries, the government, they want to work more with women-owned businesses, minority-owned businesses. And when you couple that with your expertise, um, it gives you um, a, a fair playing ground. I like interacting with people and I love watching something just build from, from the ground up and you know the, the systems, what it takes to make a building operate. I, um, I really enjoy that. That's the, I think the, the best part because most times people walk into a building and they're like you know you're, you're happy, you feel good. An engineer and an architect makes it possible for people to enjoy those buildings, be it your home, your, uh, your fitness center, you know, the airport. There's so many places that we go to. Without engineers and architects, the world wouldn't be as comfortable you know, as it is. So I really enjoy that part of it. I would tell any young person, no matter what you want to do in life, even if you're unsure, because you're so young, at, you know, you're in middle school, and even when you go off to college, you're so young and you may not necessarily know what you want to do for the rest of your life. But my advice is to study hard, um, be extremely disciplined, and to focus on math and science. If you have a, a math and science background, you can do anything. People will automatically have an admiration and respect for you because you've been able to accomplish things that most people can't do. If you major in engineering, or you know medicine, there's something of the math and science. It gives you a really strong background, foundation to build upon.